good evening YouTube subscribers and guests I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you see where we are uh, it's currently about 11:36, I think 12:36 on the Outbacks time um, wanted you to see where we're sitting state of charge we're right now at 78 uh, percent haven't produced any power obviously because it's already setting on the next date but um, yesterday I believe we pulled in 20 kilowatts um, I wanted to give you guys an update of where we're gonna be at I'm excited we're getting back into uh, super caps um, for Outback so um, I wanted you guys to see where we're at let me real quick uh, pan out for you so we got my new Outback uh, VFX uh, 3648 it's um, made to where it can charge my battery straight to grid or through a generator and currently I have it exposed I have a second one that's running um, right now but I'm trying to um, configure some things make some things normalized again around here and one of my projects um, includes using a second inverter and a uh, solar um, charge controller that are going to be connected to this monster beast right here this is my newest super cap it's comprised of 24 2300 farad um, capacitors all wired in series so it gives me about 160 i think farads i'm sorry 110 farads total um i get a surge of about 64 volts so when i'm equalizing my batteries <clears throat> and this is connected in parallel it won't over overload the uh, capacitors but let's rate it to um, discharge at a high amperage um, man I just wanted you guys to see that capacitor in comparison to the inverter it's a monster check that out so this thing's gonna be mounted uh, against my wall next to the um, inverter and my plan is to have a smaller bank and test using this configuration versus having um, a large uh, deep cycle battery bank connected um, I'll have just this and then a smaller bank so that I can see how far that uh, load can go I've seen in the past where I've had this configuration work in 12 volts and I've had um, the 3000 ferret capacitors um, in series and parallel to give me a good amount of power when the batteries were disconnected this right here should run pretty much without uh, interruption um, even without the batteries once it's fully charged so this is the beginning of that project um, as you guys have questions or concerns or you have some feedback let me know I'm gonna um, continue to post this as I go along the um, the route of making this a hundred percent working system here all right thank you